I'm Nick for Robotic Bean, here today to introduce Elementary, a new rack extension for Reason. Elementary is a pattern generator which uses logic gates based on Boolean functions. Don't panic if you're not sure what all that means. We're going to break it all down for you. And just remember, Elementary handles all of the math so you can focus on the music. Elementary has three pulse generators, or clocks, which pass through 12 logic gates. You can easily visualize what's happening using the LEDs available on both the front and back panels. Every gate has its own CD output, so you can use as many as you need in parallel. You could connect the CD outputs to the gate input of Kong, Red Drum, or even one of our hand clappers. You could even take it one step further by adding another device such as Euclid or Step. One step further. Ah, uh, uh, you see what I did there? Yeah, anyway, moving on. We could stop right here, and you could connect elementary to your favorite drum machine and create diverse and sometimes unexpected rhythm patterns. In fact, there are some built-in patches to help get you started. But to get the most out of your device, we're going to explain exactly what's happening under the hood. Maybe you're asking yourself, what exactly is a Boolean function? Well, I'm glad you asked. A Boolean function takes one or more inputs and produces exactly one of two results, true or false, high or low, or in this case, one or zero. There are a few basic types of functions. The AND function requires that both inputs are one for the output to be one. All other combinations will result in zero. OR means at least one of the inputs has to be one in order to result in one. XOR, or exclusive OR, will only produce a 1 if exactly one of its inputs is 1. The NOT function just takes a single input value and inverts it. NOT can be combined with any of the other functions to create NOT AND, NOT OR, and exclusive NOT OR. These are the building blocks of elementary. Each type of gate is not so difficult to understand on its own. But when you start to combine multiple gates, things become a little less clear. Instead, we recommend that you use the LEDs to find interesting patterns you'd like to explore. Elementary has three tempo-synced pulse generators, or clocks, each with its own rate, width, and inversion controls. Each clock can be individually disabled by clicking on the green ON buttons. As you'd expect, the global slide and shuffle affect all three clocks. All three signals can be tapped pre-logic gates and sent to other devices. You can also override the internal clocks with the output of another device. For example, you could connect one or more Euclid rhythm generators. The velocity knob can be used to scale all of the output levels, including the clocks. Just like our other rack extensions, Euclid and Step, the Enable Outputs button on the front panel can be automated to quickly start and stop the device. Lastly, there are some manual controls to trigger each of the inputs. The trigger buttons on the front panel are automatable. You can also trigger each of the inputs with a MIDI keyboard or via the sequencer. The notes C3, D3, and E3 will force the input to be high for clocks 1, 2, and 3, respectively, while the notes F sharp 3, G sharp 3, and A sharp 3 will force the input to be low. The output of each gate can also be triggered via MIDI. The corresponding keys are printed on the back panel. In octave 4, those notes will mute the corresponding outputs while the key is held. In octave 5, those same keys will not override the output, but instead control the velocity of the triggered gates while the key is held. Congratulations if you've made it this far. There are some fantastic combinator patches available for you to get started. If you find settings you like, they can be easily copied and pasted between instances of elementary. Elementary from Robotic Bean, now available in the Propellerhead shop.